Hey, what up, everyone? Michael B. Petty here. Um, before I get into the react, I just wanted to give a big sh thank you uh, so much to all of you guys for loving the merch designs. I was a little nervous rolling them out, but you guys have really loved them, and I really appreciate you guys for showing myself love and for showing Ryan love. It's been a very unique and interesting experience these past 24 hours seeing getting so much positive feedback for all of that and i just want to thank you again um but we got another video we got another eat with me egg allergy torrid haul video so i can only imagine the bs that's going to be spewed in this video i mean d does she have an egg allergy does she not and if i'm counting this correctly this is the third torrid haul this month it seems I, I think i might if i'm wrong let me know in the comments but three torrid halls like that seems a bit much even for amber lynn um but you know what it is what it is she's gonna spend how she, her money how she's gonna spend it i don't see how anyone could ever need to be buying so many clothes from torrid when they wear the same clothes all the time but you know what to each their own but without further ado let's get into the react hey guys hey guys so I'm about to have me some breakfast. We have- Good old breakfast. Let's see. Three scrambled eggs. We have- mm, That actually looks pretty good. I'm not that mad at it. Um, hopefully she used real eggs and not like, I mean, I'm assuming she made all this from scratch, but you never know with Amberlynn. She's so lazy. She's buying pre-cooked pasta. So yeah, we'll see. I thought she was allergic to eggs, but I guess not anymore. A little tiny bit of shredded cheese tons of spinach that wilts down and everything but the bagel seasoning <laughs> she loves that everything but the bagel seasoning she loves it it was called there for a minute um becky and eric went to an appointment i was gonna go but i'm actually supposed to be resting and i'm not i don't i mean great i mean you should be resting if you're coming if you came down with something so deadly, <laughs> I would assume. But the thing that gets me is why does she need to go with Eric and Becky to these appointments to sit in the car? I, I mean, I know why. It's because where Becky and Eric go, that is where the food restaurants that she enjoys going to the most are. But it's I would just get over having to like constantly deal with her in the car. I would just I just would. Mm. Eating on camera, so um, <laughs> I can't. Good. The simplicity of it, mm. it's, it's amazing. So it's amazing um, what a cooker you I'm are. Supposed to be resting, but as I opposed have all this to what that's come over me lately, which is a good thing. So I'm like up cooking and cleaning and like doing things, but I'm not supposed to be. Ooh. Like I, I have mean, all those clothes right there. That compared to how name. compared to what you normally do amberlyn like but like do you just do nothing <laughs> other like i don't sh she loves to make herself sound like she's so busy and up and about but like the real tea is that that's probably not the case which i'm probably gonna do even though i shouldn't you shouldn't put your laundry away the doctors forbade forbid you forbid you forbid you from putting laundry away i don't know i've you know i understand when people don't put their laundry away immediately like because they have other things going on but it's like amberlynn has nothing to do so like when that dryer goes off you should just go in there immediately put it away and be done with it because you have nothing else going on what you had to sit down and film yourself eating real quick <laughs> you know you shouldn't even really be doing this real tea real talk So people keep asking me about Vlogmas. Oh, here we go. The $30. Um, I'm not sure. Obviously, there's going to be videos in December because hi. I upload. Right. This is your job, right? <laughs> upload every month. <laughs> but um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do Vlogmas. I might. You should, because you haven't been posting very much lately, and we know that those ER visits are going to... When those bills come in, girl, yikes. I'm, like, this close to saying yes, because I actually um, have someone making me an intro for December, and I told them to put Vlogmas 2019 in it. So I almost feel like I have to do Vlogmas now, which I... 
I'm so confused. So was this filmed yesterday? Because didn't she post that thing on Instagram or Snapchat or whatever asking people to make a intro for her? And then when people got on her about like not paying artists for their work or for paying people in general for their work, she's like, oh, fine, then I'll Venmo you $30. Like, what happened? Like, I'm so now you have someone doing it for you for free so that they you can put the link in the their name in the description, even though I'm last time this happened, you didn't do it then either. Like, I okay, Amber, which I'm nervous for. So, everyone does Vlogmas a little differently. Some people start filming on December 1st and upload their Vlogmas day one on the December 2nd, but I start November 31st and. <laughs> Oh, bitch. Does she think that, like, there's there's not 31 days in November. So does she think that, like, November actually gains an extra day, like, every four years, like, it's a leap year or something? Or is she just really this dumb that she doesn't realize that there's only 30 days in November? I can't. She wouldn't. I don't know. Does she watch this back ever and is like, oh, wow, I said something kind of stupid. Maybe I'll, like, cut that part out. Because she could have easily cut that part out. But, like, I, you know, I started the day before December and then I st upload the, the first. And upload it on December 1st. So the reason why I do that is so Vlogmas, literally Vlogmas day one is on December 1. Do you get what I'm saying? So it just is easier for me. So, like, vlog How is it easier for you? Also, the point of Vlogmas is, like, you're doing it during the you're vlogging yourself during the month of December and if you're vlogging yourself on November 31st and then you're uploading it on the 1st of December you're technically like not really recording or showing footage that happened during December so it wouldn't it just make more sense to upload to 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 record on the 1st and then upload on the 2nd that's why everyone else does it that way because it makes more sense logistically. Vlogmas day 20 will be December 20th. So it's just easier for me to remember. Like, Cause you have so much in your life to remember. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna finish eating this. Oh yeah, and some people were like, why are you still using plastic? You have your little water thing. Yeah, why? Before I bought that, we still had a lot of water bottles and I don't want to waste them. Why don't you donate them to the homeless shelter that you were br bragging about donating to? Wouldn't that make more sense? But I do refill them. Um, Girl, yeah, right. So this is actually water yeah, right. that I just put in here from that little thing on my jigger. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about. You can't even be bothered to put your clothes away when you get them out of the dryer and we're supposed to sit here and believe that you keep the same water bottle throughout the day. What happened to the biggest water bottle you used to tout around all the time? Wouldn't that make more sense to use than these Aquafina plastic waters? Also, what happened to the pH levels giving you GERD or acid reflux? Is that not a thing anymore too? I just, yeah, what? That, right there. So drink this, I'm gonna eat. I'll catch up with you guys later. It is very dark in here, so sorry. So about busy. That. Just ignore it. So Up and about, doing so much. Um, you guys saw a video from me where I got super nauseous, and I felt sick to my stomach, and I was just like done for. Um, and I ended up ending the vlog saying that I felt nauseous. Uh oh, it's the eggs. Like the eggs strike right back. After I ate breakfast, and what when I your food fights back an omelet and oatmeal so i wasn't thinking anything of it i just had my scrambled eggs which tasted really good like i was saying and now i feel m like miserable i'm having cramps i feel nauseous again and i've talked to you guys about this before and people make fun of me i know i'm gonna hear it again i used to have an egg like intolerance Kind egg like intolerance is that a thing? thing um i would just say i have an egg allergy because it's easier to say um when i was younger eggs made me really sick and as a teenager it wouldn't do it so much and now as an adult it's starting to happen again but it almost feels like it's 10 times worse i literally feel so horrible it's probably because she's eating something of actual nutritional value instead of eating the fast food and restaurant takeout that she's grown so accustomed to. But 
if it is true and you have lived your entire life knowing that whenever you eat eggs, you feel sick, wouldn't you therefore not eat eggs anymore? Like, wouldn't that be the smart thing to do? Like, you don't have to eat eggs. No one is sitting here telling you or forcing you to eat eggs. Stop buying them. Stop making them. Stop eating them. It's not that hard. I have I have a lot of stomach issues when I eat broccoli, so I try not to eat that much broccoli. It's You're an adult. You're an autonomous human being. You can decide what foods you want to and don't want to eat. Or... Is the egg, is a binge monster just too great for you and you can't help it and you have to eat eggs? I don't know. It's so dumb. Just don't eat eggs anymore. That's the, to me, that's the biggest criticism that I see people give her is they're so tired of hearing about the egg allergy and then you continuously eat the eggs. Wouldn't that make more sense? Like, that's why people are annoyed. It's like cramps and it's like this nauseous feeling where it literally feels like you're about to vomit. That's what nausea is. <laughs> feeling like you're going to vomit um she defined nausea miserable like i can't even come to terms with it um oh. you can't even come to terms with nausea I like know. i can't i can't have it anymore which is okay like there's still oatmeal and like other she, she's mourning the loss of eggs i can't this is so stupid i can't i couldn't imagine be sitting here being like oh my god i can't eat eggs anymore like oh my dude it's eggs to figure out, but i just feel so bad and i just cannot believe that this is happening again you just talked about how whenever you have eaten eggs as a child you would get sick and even as a teenager you would still kind of get sick but not as bad why can't you not believe that you're getting sick from eating eggs are you really this dense this is actually very common um when i was younger it started at a really young age and for some reason like it didn't really she's repeating herself years. And that's why I shied away from eggs for the longest time. I low-key thought that I had backtracked in the clip, but she's literally repeating herself again. Whoa. Because I was afraid of them because it made me feel horrible. And um, then in my early 20s, I noticed it didn't happen as much. And then it kind of just like randomly did. And I was just like. You've been talking about the egg allergy for like seven years on this platform. <laughs> You're 28 years old. So when you were 21 and 22 talking about the egg allergy in your vlogs, I'm, oh, I'm, it's so hard trying to wrap my head around this shit sometimes. I don't know. Whew. Horrible, horrible, horrible. So I'm just going to rest for a little bit and I'm hoping it passes. Yesterday it was like a few hours. So I'm dreading these next few hours. Take okay, some Pepto, guys. call it a fucking it's day. Been... Damn, so like she ate that breakfast at like three o'clock and it's already nighttime, so it's like five o'clock. Probably four hours, five hours since I last talked to you guys and I actually feel pretty much a little bit better. So I was able to have dinner. I had salmon, cauliflower tots, and onion and bell pepper. So I have to Congrats. put away the leftovers right now. So, I gotta find the lids. Actually, you know what? I love these. Okay. I'm always dropping something. These are here. Are those leftover so from the Chinese restaurant? One, though, because with my leftovers from tonight, I think tomorrow I'm gonna make like a um, tater tot casserole that's like healthy if you will so oh god oh yikes hello oh my god editing <laughs> editing queen these are my bell pepper and onion so it like it pains me to watch her walk gonna put that i'm out. glad she's doing it and then I mean, it's interesting to me, like, she posted that thing on Instagram being like, this was me in June. This is me today. And it's like, 
like as if like she's trying to prove that she lost weight but it's like girl you look the same size even in that giant torrid dress that is hugging those hips really tight like i'm not seeing the at her size she's gonna have to lose a really good considerable amount of weight like i'm talking 50 to 75 pounds before people actually really start to see a difference <laughs> Definitely got some dishes to do. I'm glad to see her doing chores at least. Because that'll burn some calories. So I think what I'm going to do tomorrow is have ground turkey with like taco seasoning. Blah, blah, blah. There we go. I love these. I actually got these from Amazon. Oh, I just got this from Amazon. Um, and there's also these. She's just buying well, all Amazon, dude, Uber Eats, Amazon Postmates. Like she, <laughs> her carbon footprint is probably so high. I bet she doesn't do that thing either. Like Amazon has this new thing where you can have all of your things shipped on the same day. So it'll like collect all of your orders and then it'll just ship one day a week, which is what I've been doing. Even though I don't get things every week, I only get things like maybe like twice a month, it seems now. So... <sighs> Carbon footprint, though, yo. Walmart. Walmart. You I love how she says Walmart. Walmart. There's like no L in it. So, just wanted to check in with you guys. Doing my thing. It's clear that like she she like researches meal prepping and stuff like that because she really wants to do it, but she never follows through. Because those containers are essentially made for people who are meal prepping. But I've never once seen her like make a week's worth of food. And it's probably not a good idea for her to do that because I guarantee you she would just go in there and eat it all. Hello. Hi. How you doing? What's up? So I'm just sitting here doing a little bit of writing. Eric and Ricky are in the shower. Becky's Ooh, the yes. Ricky and Eric get it. Well, just, you know. Couple shower. Writing. Love that. Love to do that. But I'd love to see. Maybe that's how Becky can coax um, Amber into the shower. Be like, ooh, babes, let's take a shower together. We're all going to come together, and we're going to watch It Chapter 2. And I'm so excited because I haven't seen it. It's um, available I haven't seen it either. Now. So to those who want to watch it, you can actually get it digital. Digital. <laughs> the DVD doesn't actually come out until next month, but that's okay. I'll buy it then. Eric and Ricky have already seen it twice. They went and paid for it to see it twice. And they said it's really good. I loved the original. I loved... The one that came out Bill Skarsgård so is like the really best. I, oh, okay, he's guys, so dreamy. So it is the next day. Hello. I have some foxes on my dress because it's, mm, it's a cute time. dress, I um, guess. That equals foxes. So I have a little tiny torrid haul. Those hoops are a little bit better than those other I garish bought, ones she likes to wear. My face is really red, by the way. I just did the dishes, so I'm like... So I actually bought a few things from Torrid and I didn't haul them and I'm not going to haul them because they're super cute. It's just some Christmas moments, but I some do Some Christmas, Chrissy Christmas. I'm gonna haul this. So this is a sweater dress. I'm pretty sure from what I remember. The color's cute. Yes, it is. Okay. And I got this in a It can't even. X. It's like, honestly, her showing them and everything. She needs to put the camera farther away from her because you can't even see the shape of any of this. Maybe this is why Torrid hasn't sponsored her because she does such a crap job of showing the product off. But it's like, you it just looks like giant swaths of fabric whenever she holds things up. The top is blue with silver polka dots and the bottom is this type of material, which your girl don't know. But yeah, this is sweater material. I almost wish I would have gotten a smaller size because I love this. I'm losing weight. <laughs> like she, the delusion is so strong in her. We've seen her buy I don't know how many dresses on this website and then fit her the mo the worst just absolute worst you need to be buying the biggest size they have don't even worry about losing weight because the the t is that you don't wear these dresses how they're meant to be worn you wear them with tights because your your bottom half is so big now that like if you were to wear them as a dress people would be like oh shit so you need to just buy the biggest size you got and then as you lose weight they will probably start to fit you better you're never you're not you are like 300 pounds away from those clothes being way too big for you. That's how much weight you have to lose. I'm feeling good, fun, fresh. 
fresh. Next thing, I got this in a size six, which I don't know. Was I like lack of sleep when I bought these things? No, I think you had a moment of clarity while you were sick, while you had those fever dreams and you were like, well, maybe I should start buying things from Tora that might actually fit me. This is a dress. This is the first dress I've ever bought in a size six. And I think I was afraid of the material TBH. So that looks like that might actually I mean, fit you. Size six. I know it's going to fit, but I'm just afraid it's going to be too loose. She is such a, she, uh, she does not, the way she perceives her body is completely different than the reality. So this is very, this is also a Christmas moment. I really hope I have a lot of Christmas things to do this year. Even if I don't, I'll just like make my own Christmas moment. Like I'll still put this on. Is Christmas moment the new situation type deal? On if I'm just lounging around the house, I really don't care. I'll get my makeup done and I'll just look cute as ever. So <laughs> this is a red. It's literally been a week of you, like a, a week's worth of vlogs and we haven't seen you put a thing of makeup on your face. A dress and it's long sleeve, but this part is see through, which I don't know if you guys can tell. And it's just beautiful. It's lace. And I it just love it. Looks like a throw that you would put on a sofa. <laughs> this, I'm just afraid it's gonna be too big. So next thing is another dress. I got this in a size five. I don't have anything plaid like. It just looks like a giant. Like I can't. Where's the front. We don't want to be wearing this backwards because last time it costed me a scandal. So it's just this really cute. It costed you a scandal green color okay. again this is very fall christmas i'm getting so many fall christmas things and we only have like one more is month she crying <laughs> almost, so I'm like really sad but you I can wear fall things is well into february don't worry i could still make these things work all year round because i don't care so this material actually feels really nice and stretchy we all love stretch so it's just one more thing i don't think i got any jewelry this time like i freaking need it let me tell you so this is another <laughs> a moment of clarity again about the hoard another dress in size five this is gorge i have kind of something like this that i got last year but it's a little different the other one is black with like silver this one is black with this rose gold you guys that's rose gold new year's eve party though like look how gorgeous you can't I... tell at all what it looks like like it's just a giant thing of fabric like you could it looks like when you know on project one runway when they're like going to like um mood or whatever and they're just like pulling the sheets of fabric off the rollers that's just what this looks like it looks like someone went out and cut a giant piece of fabric and she's holding it up I just don't have words these dresses this haul is amazing i need to buy amazing me a new tripod because the camera's moving so sorry for the angle i'm actually she's using her phone hang these right now normally they sit in a laundry basket for a few days sometimes a week wow you're fucking lazy for being honest honey <laughs> but it's true who buys clothes like that and then throws them in a laundry basket? Like, that's so weird. You should wash them real talk. I need more hangers, TBH. I always because wash my new clothes. I never I wear them straight off the of hangers. Dresses. dresses are just so comfortable as of late, so. The camera's, like, slowly because it's a yeah, phone. Like a size six. It's going to fall right now. Here we go. Woo! Here we go. It's like a it roller coaster. <laughs> Here we go. Woo! So I'm really nervous. I swear my angles lately have just been like for the win. I don't know. Ooh. My angles are just really bad. I cannot find my. Doesn't look like she put those clothes away. Look at the fans, dude. I couldn't imagine walking by and just seeing three giant floor fans <laughs> propped up on boxes. Like I would die. A tripod. I will be getting another one. I have to because just works so much better. So there's a lot of like, oh my God, Amberlynn's a hoarder when it comes to makeup. I want you to are. I have a pretty like normal, decent amount in my opinion. So I kind of just quickly, I'm not gonna like go through it. I just wanna show you how I have been storing it, which has been a All lot right. easier for me. So I keep my eyeshadow 
palettes in here. Oh my I god. Guys, I don't have that many. That's all I have. That's a lot. Those. And then I keep the rest it, of I my feel makeup like that's a lot. In this. So I'm going to explain that. What? So we have this bag in here which is strictly just brushes. So it's you know it's interesting when you watch hoarders and buried alive and stuff like that it's interesting to me how like when there people are walking like to the normal person they walk in and they're like oh my god but like it's interesting seeing the hoarders mindset and how they like know exactly where everything is and they just like dig through piles of trash and shit and then they find exactly what they're looking for like that's normal this is what this gives me it gives me very much this like when the ho like it's very that where like a hoarder goes into the hoard and they're like they're like oh i need this and they're like oh it's here behind all the books and all the newspapers from 1970 and like it's very that to me much easier to just have all my brushes in one spot that's literally my why brushes. do you need to all me, those brushes and i think it's because I... girl you're not tati you don't need all of these brushes you barely put makeup on i watch so many different youtubers even people who aren't like beauty guru like influencers like just normal people this is another bag that i have inside of there and this is strictly just my lipsticks which i could say i have a fair amount of those but it they all fit in here like it's just just because they fit doesn't mean you need all of them i bet you wear one of those to me it's not like that much so the next thing is you need to you need to think about what you have and then scale that down by about 90%. And that's probably more closer to the realm of like how much makeup you actually need. This bag is where I keep my foundations, my concealers, my hydrating stuff, my powders, my all that type of stuff, which is I easier. And the thing that also doesn't make sense to me is like she just got over this allergic reaction from using these products on her face and it's like why are you keeping like if you have such sensitive skin wouldn't you find things that don't break you out and then just stick to those and not put your not do all of this trial and error on your face because you wouldn't want that same outcome it doesn't make any sense to me for me to keep it like this because these are the things that i put on my face first so it's all organized and it makes sense it's thrown so in a bag this, none of that is organized is like barely anything is just random things there's mascaras there's I give her three weeks these bags will be full to the brim lip glosses um some strip lash adhesive we've never seen you wear fake eyelashes in your entire life why would you need strip lash adhesive that makes zero sense small eyeshadows lip liners glitter i mean it's really not that much see so when people sit there <laughs> look at all the water bottles in the background are you reusing all of those empty water bottles behind you doubt it they're like oh my god you have so much makeup i'm like girl i don't have like any compared to like, all those candles right there like, average person i feel like makeup is dude youtubers aren't a, re a reflection of reality you need to stop comparing yourself to youtubers they, a lot of these people that you watch don't they're not I, it's interesting someone i watched this video by as, as told by kenya and she was doing it she was talking about like the relatable um like the relatable white girl and the relatable black girl and she was talking about how like as you get bigger you stop losing a lot of your relatability a lot of these people these beauty gurus they may have started off in, in modest times and having a modest amount of makeup but where they are now and where a lot of these vloggers that she, i know she watches are now they're not near that any they don't live in that realm anymore these people don't have the same things that like 95 percent of the people that watch them have no one can afford that kind of lifestyle no one can afford to have makeup brushes on makeup brushes on makeup brushes eye palettes on eye palettes on eye people just don't anymore so you need to remember that these people aren't living in the realm that is more realistic to the average girl most people don't have tons of palettes of eye eye shadows most they don't because they have to spend their money on things that make sense that make more sense like i don't know their car payments or student loans <laughs> so popular in this day and age that like to have a lot is to like be normal i guess i don't know so as you guys know i have super dry skin maybe you don't know that i don't know but um becky told me because i used to use eucerin lotion which really helped a lot but that was when i was younger becky 
Bucky. Bucky. Ooh, Bucky. Bucky told me about the Cetaphil. Um, That's not lotion, dog. That said cleanser. That said cleanser. Tell me about the Cetaphil. That's cleanser. That is not lotion. Um, and I know a few other people who have actually used it. It's gentle skin cleanser. Um, I've been using it all over, honey. Like, it actually works. Oh my god, I feel so good. Um, because my skin has been dry. And this is actually, it was supposed to, like it even says on the back, this was supposed to only be for like dermatologists or whatever. No, you, I can't, dude. She's so stupid. If it was meant, if, it, if you had to get a prescription for it, it wouldn't be sold at Walmart over the counter. It's dermatologist recommended. It's dermatologist approved. I, I wonder if she thinks that like on TV, when you see those Crest 3D like, uh, toothpaste ads and it says like dentist recommended that she thinks that like you're not supposed to like it's like dentist powered teeth whitening stuff like no it's just approved by dentist it's approved by dermatologist that's all it's saying it's not like so it's not p dermatologist powerful because if it was you would have to go and see an actual dermatologist pay to go that get, well first of all you, would, you wouldn't do that because you don't have health insurance and you're there's no plans about getting it because i really i honestly to god think that if she had planned on getting health insurance she'd have been talking about it now she'd have been talking about the experience of going onto the marketplace trying to figure out what health insurance she needs to get paying for it signing up it'd be a whole ass thing so we know that that's not happening but if you need but what would happen is you would go and see the dermatologist you'd pay to see the dermatologist they'd write your prescription you'd go to the pharmacy you'd, you'd take it in and then you'd get whatever it is there because you wouldn't be able to buy it over the counter but i love that she thinks that because this is dermatologist recommended or dermatologist approved that that means that it's like like powerful stuff it's not it's cetaphil it says this gentle soap free cleanser was originally formulated for dermatologists specifically for everyday cleansing of even the most sensitive skin which is literally me um so this is like a lotion it's not a lotion it's a cleanser cleanser where you don't actually have to like wipe it off or rinse it Do people, please tell me people don't listen to her and believe her when she's talking about stuff like this. You need to wipe it off. Just because it's, a, you have to wipe it off. I know for a fact you have to wipe that off. Um, you can literally just leave it. No, if you're watching my video and not Amber Lynn's or whatever, or what, you need to wipe it off. Do not leave it on your skin. And then you can get like a small rag if you want, if you don't like blend it in enough or whatever it's called. No. Just, like, take off whatever. But I literally no. just get it all in. Jesus get Christ. Get it all in. Oh. Uh. That was the cutest sneeze I've ever heard. But honestly, I recommend this for people who are super dry or like especially dry during the winter because... It's not a lotion. It's a cleanser. Okay. It's meant to be removed. Oh, Time my favorite part. Here we go. Here we go. Last vlog I uploaded was grocery shopping, my diagnosis, makeup, and I have over 5,200 comments. You guys know the drill. Like, right, because you, really cause you click so baited the fuck out of that. In a second. So All right, let's everyone had some things to say to you. Let's reply to someone. Excuses, excuses. excuses. Chastity, I Embic. Amen. Amen, my darling. Amen. I don't know which part you're referring to. If you're talking about the diagnosis part, that's fine. Um, it just seems like every time, like, this is just how it is. Like, even in Why is it that or, way, like, though? Or whatever, Why? Um, people have a bad time accepting people's actual... No explanation for no things not at all i i watch other vloggers and stuff all the time and they go through medical crises or they go through things with their family but because they have such an authenticity to them and a genuineness people believe them and they understand them and they're empathetic you constantly like to like gaslight your audience and play um hide the whatever you like to hide things you like to be shady and 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 you lie all the time and so therefore people just don't give you the benefit of the doubt anymore and that's no one fault that's no one's fault but your own applying or combating it with oh that's just an excuse so it's whatever i'm kind of numb to that <laughs> i know which is why you haven't changed in the slightest You've moved on, but the people you hurt haven't because you never apologize. Amen, Marie. A fucking men. I have apologized. You've never so apologized. Many times that I just feel like apologies never. don't even matter anymore. 
<laughs> I mean, that's a true statement from Amberlynn. That is truly how she believes. She believes that apologies never matter. We've never gotten a true, authentic atonement for any of the stuff that she's said or done. It's all just her deflecting, making excuses. Like, that's all her life is. And that's why she's in the predicament she's in now. Because it's like, how many times do I have to say sorry? We've never heard you um, apologize for it. You haven't even addressed the go scan me thing. And that was last month. It's been a month since that has all gone down and it's come to fruition that Becky's mom was not being the, as honest with her, her audience or with your audience. And we haven't heard peep. We haven't heard boo. Made videos about it. I have made videos um, answering questions that I don't want nope. to answer just to get everything. And in those like, videos, you didn't open. apologize either. I have done everything I can to move on and to have other people move on. You just and want I people to shut up. That's what this is about. I'm sorry for hurting anyone that I've hurt, um, whether that be subscribers or people who just watch me or haters or people who support haters. Me. Hey, haters. I have done that several times. Let's reply to someone. 1010 thought Twinkie had a party hat on for a second. No, she didn't. Whatever. <laughs> Never mind. I Googled it and you can get TSS from pads as well. Oh my gosh. Toxic shock syndrome. Um, are you talking about toxic syndrome? Is that what it's got? Is that what it's got? Is that what it's called? Um, if that's what you think I have, definitely not. Um, I wouldn't be I don't afraid think to admit she can... that. That seems very... I like don't think she can put a tampon I think I in. I know someone um, who actually had that happen to them, and it was because of a tampon. So, fresh, unprocessed fish is super easy to make too. One hundred percent. I was looking for fresh salmon at Kroger actually because I was really interested in just making it myself and like seasoning it. I would love to see her try to cook to, fish. Real talk, I would love it. Reason. That so would be a video. Next time I'm going to look again because I actually tried the salmon yesterday that I bought in this vlog and it just wasn't up to par. I definitely make better salmon um, by myself. Girl, when have we ever seen you make salmon from scratch that wasn't frozen and pre seasoned? Okay. This is a long in. The comments on your a videos long are in? not okay and are honestly disturbing. These people. Why did that person put disturbing in? That's not even quotes. Like, if you really think it's disturbing, then it's disturbing. It's not a figure of speech. It's disturbing. If you believe that, like, what the fuck? The people, the people that go hard for her are stupid. People are obsessed with you and dedicate so much time to hate on you and spread negativity. Why? Why? It seems like something you unfortunately have to deal with because your videos get a lot of views. Like the other popular YouTube, Gabby Hanna. Hello. God, you really want to invoke Gabby Hanna right now? All right. If you want to be compared to Gabby Hanna, Amberlynn, more power to you. Well, I guess it comes with the territory. People hate the fact that you can make more money than them, and it's pathetic to read these comments. Wow. If th this is really what Mary really honestly believes, that people are just upset with the fact that she makes more money than her, than other people. Like, <laughs> God, dude. Even the Ann babies are pretty deluded. Like, it's not even within the realm of reason. Anyone can hustle and make content on YouTube and make money, but most people fail because it's hard. You are one of the few who succeeded. I love your vids and you have fans. XO. Yeah, stupid ones. Oh. XO, 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 heart. Mary. Hugs and kisses. Just say hugs <laughs> that was and kisses. Really sweet. Um, it's so hard for me to reply to such sweet things sometimes because I literally just want to be like, oh my God, you're so sweet. Thank you. Thank you for not getting lost in the insanity of the comment section. And it's just hard for me to even say that, you know, because. I feel like what you say, Martyrlin, so here we go. And it's so validated and validated. You say valid. It's so valid. Validated. It's very true. The part where you said that they're obsessed with you and dedicate so much time to hate on you. Um, a lot of people will disagree with that because I feel like, you know, I've been delusional in my life in different ways. And I feel like the trolls are also delusional. And <laughs> Oh my god, we literally just watched you talk about how you can't eat eggs because it makes you sick, but for the past 10 years you've continued to eat eggs and get sick. But trolls are deluded. Okay. In their own way. Um, and I do feel like anyone can start a YouTube channel, obviously. Um, right. And 
it just depends on how much um, self-respect they have and if they're willing to gain 300 pounds just to make a quick buck how you make money on it or succeed that's it just kind of happens um i remember my first video that went i wouldn't say viral because it's definitely not viral but it got a lot of views was one of my first mukbangs <laughs> surprise surprise and i actually got a lot of love on it and um I was eating that was back before people eating, knew who you um, were a little mini frozen burrito um and that was the first video that really went really went up there and i think it was because mukbangs were really pro popular at the time but i'm very grateful for the money i make on youtube i'm very grateful for i mean people don't r wish to be you people don't a lot of people don't wish to have the problems that amberlynn has yes money can solve a lot of people's issues and amberlynn has a lot of it but look at the state of her life like it uh, it doesn't matter it, it's not sometimes it's not about the amount of money you have it's how you choose to use the resources that which are which are given to you or which you earn and amberlyn has proven that she's not in a space to really accurately or responsibly use those resources to help benefit and maximize her life in any way shape or form and she continues to go down these paths of these cycles that continuously are secular and don't at offer her or give her any kind of benefit or give her any kind of um like they, they don't do anything positive in her life so this argument that be, that people hate her for the simple fact that she makes money is stupid i do think that there are people that talk about why her ha her having the money and the way she uses it is very greedy i think amberlynn is very greedy um but the way that she went about making her money and stuff like that it's like girl whatever dude like it is what it is and i and, and people do see how you come on here and you put no effort into any of this and you do make money and it's and i think people are annoyed and i think people are envious of the fact that you can come on here and with such ease kind of make this money and not have it not be humble in the slightest and I think it's okay for people who are struggling and for people who actually have to go out there and make a an hard, honest living to be annoyed with it. It's fine. And I don't think that it's it's too far-fetched for them to be annoyed by that because the truth is that we live in a society sometimes where some of the dumbest people end up making the most money and it's for dumb things. For the views, my two cents on that. It just definitely does suck that I kind of have to endure the really rude people that <laughs> come along with it um the junk food is in becky's cart while the healthy stuff is in amber's <laughs> cart yeah um huh huh <laughs> stupid um, me becky did have a cart but i'm gonna be honest she went shopping for her own stuff because we are eating differently yeah and becky's diet seems to be giving her more results with her weight loss i'm trying to be a little bit more cautious of the food i'm putting in my mouth and stuff like that cautious so and plus we just like different things like she don't like salmon she don't like cauliflower she doesn't you know um me and her doesn't like salmon doesn't so like cauliflower and i don't want to reply it not that i don't want to reply i can't reply it to the ones where they're not talking to me um so this is the last one People are just irritated because if you film yourself getting sick, going to the ER, and continuously talk about it in your vlog, we are going to be curious and want to know. If it's so personal, personal, you shouldn't have recorded Amen, it. Amen, Christy. Amen. I recorded it because I was vlogging that day, and I literally <laughs> thought I, would, I just had the flu. You don't have to put it in the vlog. Once you realize that it was more serious, and then you realize that you no longer wanted to talk about it, and you didn't want people to be in the know, you could have cut it all out. You honestly... You could have made it. People could have not known you went to the ER, period. I mean, it's you can go to the doctor and not tell anyone. You can go to Cheesecake Factory and not tell anyone. But because you want to make that money and you want to make that clickbait and you want to get those views, you constantly seem to put it in. You seem to find a way. So I was like waiting and waiting and waiting to find out that I had the flu. And then when I found out I didn't, I wanted to continue the journey um, the journey the I journey it's a journey and i didn't want all my vlogging to kind of just be out the window type deal i just continued the <laughs> vlog deal. and honestly i felt like it was appropriate to tell my audience that something was wrong with me just so you guys kind of understood what was going <sighs> on at the moment she lives in such um, a different realm of reality to me it's so exactly bizarre what's wrong with me but i do want you guys to know that i am getting a little bit better um, I'm actually going to schedule because you want the pity pats a doctor because the doctor that I have been seeing she actually moved 
to a facility far, far away from here. So now I have to get a new doctor. I'm kind of nervous about that because I don't want a new doctor. Um, I want to keep you did seeing nothing with I've been seeing, you, you know? did nothing with the current doctor. So why does it matter? You've you've saw her three times and then nothing you got no results because you've refused to do anything she knows me but oh well um but yeah i'm gonna stop this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in my next one bye oh my god that's the video i mean the egg thing is hilarious to me we got another torrid haul i can't i the amount of things that get shipped to that house every day is astounding to me like she is so lucky we live in an era where shipping is not as ridiculously priced as it once was but my god um the idea that people want her life or are, are jealous of her life i honestly don't i think people are jealous of the money she makes but like i don't think i think 99 percent of the people that watch your videos would never want to trade places with you because you don't really live a life of love really you don't have a lot of people around you that really care about you it seems like you're incredibly isolated you're stuck at all in your home you're you, you just no one wants that life i don't think most people would want that life so i don't know what that am baby was thinking by saying that but you know what if you believe it you believe it and something tells me amberlyn believes it that's all i gotta say about this video is already going to be super long again thank you so much for the positive feedback when it comes to the merch i really appreciate appreciate that appreciate appreciate it and thank you so much again ryan for doing that for me remember to follow me on instagram and twitter at michael b petty and remember to like comment and subscribe and until next time toodles